Let me tell you an interesting story. Take a look at this video. A long time ago, people used to think that human beings had some sort of an inner light. This inner light shot out from our eyes and they believed it was in this way that human beings could see objects. But this view was clearly discarded when human beings realized they couldn't see in the dark. Later on, people believed that light from bright objects came to our eyes, hit our eyes, and then it fell on objects. But this view was also discarded. About a thousand years back, a man named Alhazen discovered that if you look at bright objects, it hurt your eyes a lot. So what did he theorize? He put forward the theory that light from bright objects enters our eyes and does not bounce off our eyes. Take a look at this animation. In this animation, you will find that a boy is throwing a ball on the wall in front of him and the ball is bouncing back towards him. In a similar manner, light behaves. So how do you think we are able to see? When light from this bulb hits the wall, it is reflected or in other words, it bounces back and reaches our eyes. And in this manner, we are able to see the brick wall. So how do you think the reflection of light takes place? Let us find out. On the board, you will see the picture of an incident ray. This incident ray is depicting the light that is coming in and hitting the obstacle. Notice the arrowhead that is shown to depict the incident ray. Now the moment this incident ray hits the obstacle, it bounces back and is reflected. This reflected ray, after bouncing back, travels in the opposite direction. Notice that the reflected ray has been shown by an arrow that is pointed away from the obstacle. Now if we draw a perpendicular at the point of incidence, that is this point, what will it be called? The perpendicular at the point of incidence is known as the normal. And the plane where the incident ray, the normal and the reflected ray lie is known as the plane of incidence. So I have a question for you now. Looking at this picture, can you tell me which one is the incident ray? That's right. The incident ray in this picture is given by ray AB. This ray is the incident ray. Why? Because as I just explained, incident ray is that ray which comes in and hits the obstacle and it is shown by the arrowhead. So as this arrow clearly depicts that ray AB is coming towards the wall and hitting this obstacle, AB is the incident ray. Now I have another question for you. Look at this picture and tell me which one is the reflected ray. That is right. The reflected ray in this case is ray BA. Why is it so? Because as I just explained, reflected ray is that ray which bounces back of the obstacle and heads in a direction opposite to that of the incident ray. So this is the obstacle and as you can see by the arrowhead, this ray BA is heading in the opposite direction to the incident ray. So ray BA is the reflected ray. Now look at this image again closely. You will notice 
that two angles have been shown theta i and theta r do you know what these angles are called theta i is the angle that is made by the incident ray and the normal and theta r is the angle made by the normal and the reflected ray theta i is known as the angle of incidence and theta r is known as the angle of reflection now i have a question for you looking at this image can you tell me which one is the angle of incidence out of the given four angles that is right the angle of incidence is given by angle f why is it not angle e or angle g or angle h because as i explained previously the angle of incidence is the angle in between the incident ray and the normal which one is the incident ray here as you can see from this arrowhead the incident ray is ab and the normal is given by bn so clearly the angle of incidence is angle f now can you tell me from this image which one is the angle of reflection out of these four angles yes you are right the angle of reflection is angle g why is it so because angle of reflection as i explained is the angle formed between the normal and the reflected ray in this case bc represents the reflected ray why because as you can see from the arrowhead over here it is traveling in a direction opposite to that of the incident ray after bouncing off from this obstacle so angle g is the angle of reflection now take a look at this animation closely you will notice that a ball is being thrown on the ground at different angles every time the ball is hitting the ground it is bouncing back and each time the angle of bouncing is different from the previous one now do you think the angle at which the ball is hitting the ground has anything to do with the angle at which it is leaving the ground that is do you think the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are in any way related to one another let us find out through a very simple experiment observe this video closely in this video you will find that a laser light has been kept at an angle of 15 degrees and it is hitting a mirror in front after bouncing off the mirror the reflected ray is also coming back at an angle of 15 degrees now what happens if we change the angle to 30 degrees you will notice that when the light is kept at an angle of 30 degrees the angle of reflection is also 30 degrees and when the angle is changed to 45 degrees the angle of reflection is also 45 degrees so what can we conclude the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection or in other words theta i is equal to theta r this is the first law of reflection now consider this video once again in this you will notice that the incident light the reflected right and the normal at the point of incidence are lying on the same plane that is they are lying on the same plane of paper that the protractor is on so what does this signify this signifies that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence lie on the same plane this is the second law of reflection 
So let us take a quick recap of what we learned so far. We learned that light, after getting reflected from an object, enters our eyes, and that is how we are able to see. This reflection of light is guided by certain laws. What are those laws? The first law is the angle of incidence, or the angle in between the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. That is the angle in between the normal and the reflected ray. And what was the second law? The second law stated that the normal at the point of incidence, the incident ray and the reflected ray lie in the same plane. 